Guyanese. Just listen how disrespectful the vice president of Guyana can get when he was told that both local and international oil experts are willing to help Guyana renegotiate that slave contract with ExxonMobil. Please don't. From this week, I'm not, I'm not answering questions that have gone through a hundred times before. Please go on. Yeah. And as William Sky Tree News, um, last week you challenged the leader of the opposition, Mr. Norton, to basically come up with a plan and a strategy with his secret oil and gas team in order to have the oil contracts renegotiated and then you would probably look at it. Why don't you make the same offer to oil and gas experts like Chatham House and other international experts on the oil and gas sector, including the Minister of Trinidad, the oil, the TT oil minister, who is also willing to render his assistance to Guyana. So, and so the offer is available to anyone, anyone that we're one, as I outlined the conditions, that we don't lose momentum. Let me go through it again, that we don't lose momentum. So no litigation that will stop, stop the, the development of future projects. That's one. Two, that the window that we have through net zero, that that window be taken account. And there are, there are a couple of other conditions, but that's available to anyone, anyone who can come up with that plan. So it's not the Minister of Oil, Gas in Trinidad and everything else. Could, could, whoever wants to come up with that. Noted. The conditions he just set there is telling the whole world and every Guyanese who wants to see that contract changed to screw yourself or go to hell. I don't think the defense and conditions he set for renegotiation of that contract ExxonMobil can beat that. Listen to his answer again. Um, the Minister of Natural Resources in three years held one press conference and oftentimes when questions are asked, you refer the media to him. Can we expect monthly press conferences from the Minister with updates on the rapidly developing sector given your party's commitment to transparency and accountability? Um, the, minister, the Minister will have to answer that question, how often he will hold press conferences. But we have through various means, we have sought to make public information that is available to us. So if you look at the website now, because we believe that information should not await a question from the media, but should be pub publicized. We made a commitment in opposition that we will publish all the environmental protection the, the environmental licenses, permits, we have done so, unlike the last government. We have pr pr published all the production licenses. We, we published production data, and a whole series of data. So, and every time you ask here at a press conference, if we did not done so, you ask for large companies, the contract for large companies, we publish those, that's in the mining sector. So we are committed through a public process to make more transparent the information that we receive. He's right. The production data he received is from ExxonMobil oil meters. Guyana doesn't have its own meters at any of the pumps four years now. Ask him, where in the public anyone can find the two audit reports completed in which the auditor said Guyana was shafted billions upon billions of dollars by ExxonMobil. Ask him where in the public we could find the reviews of those 10, 12, and 13 billion U.S. oil projects he approved. Ask him what interest rates Guyana paying on Exxon loans out there? Ask him when will he release Exxon's inflated bills and yearly expenses. 
the leasing costs and rentals of the rigs and the FPSOs out there. You want more? Ask him who are the beneficial owners of the Kaichor and Kanji oil blocks. Something he promised at his first press conference since taking that office. Ask him where in the world Guyanese can find the US 2 billion oil spill guarantee from Exxon. The two citizens just yesterday had to move back again to the highest court in this land just to see the proof that the two billion was lodged with EPA. And we have several, several others, too much to mention on this TikTok. He made a commitment in opposition for this and for that. But he, not telling the nation that he also made a commitment to renegotiate all the oil contracts, including the Exxon Mobil deal. He made changes to every one of them except Exxon. Is what Exxon do to he? Or doing to he? Is what he getting personally from Exxon? that he doesn't want to touch that particular contract. I'm just asking. As for the oil minister, you don't even know if this man live in Guyana or he live in Venezuela. Guyanese, my brothers and sisters, please defend and grab back your future from these guys. I can only beg you all for that one thing.